Hi y'all. I hope you're doing great this afternoon. I am about to make some little mini, uh, like little mini cupcakes. They're called orange blooms. And I'm going to make those for a, a baby shower that my granddaughter is hosting this Saturday. So I'm trying to get these made so I can take them to her house tomorrow and she'll be ready uh, to serve them on Saturday morning. So uh, we're gonna start with the basic, uh, the cupcake recipe, and then we'll have a special glaze that goes on them. But these uh, require a, cake, a box of yellow cake mix and a box of lemon jello. And this is just the small size box. I think it's 3.4 ounces of lemon jello. So those are the two things that go in here. I've already got those in my mixer now. So let me turn this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding all the other ingredients, which are four eggs, three-fourths a cup of orange juice, and this is just regular, I just got the regular like Publix orange juice, not, the, not any high pulp or anything like that, just regular orange juice. So I'm gonna pour that in first. Then, then I'm gonna put three-fourths a cup of vegetable oil. And then the four eggs. So I've already cracked four eggs into here. I cracked them one at a time, like I always tell you to do, in a separate dish, and then put them in here together. So I'm going to turn this on, mix it up, and then we're going to be putting them in mini muffin pans, which I've already sprayed with um, non-stick spray. So I'll get back with you as soon as I get this mixed up and we start putting them in the muffin pan. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I've already mixed it up and, and filled up two of these pans that hold 24, and I've still got this much left down in here. So I think I'll be able to get maybe another 12 to 18 out of that. So it's gonna make plenty of these little muffins for the shower. Anyhow, yeah, I'm about to put these in an oven now at 350 and they'll cook for approximately eight to 10 minutes. Doesn't take long when they're this small. And then I'll get them out and I'll get back with you. Hey y'all, cupcakes are almost ready. What's the best part of baking? Getting to lick the beater. Mmm, yum, yum. These are, this is so good. Tastes good raw. I know it's gonna be great when it's the finished product. Mmm, it was just about ready. Let me get my hot pads ready. I think they're just about ready to come out of the oven. They weren't quite ready at eight minutes, so I gave them another couple minutes. Hopefully the tops will be brown and I can get them out. We'll turn it around here so you can see if it, they are. It's about to be. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beep. There we go. They look pretty cute. Good. Some mud here on hot pad. There's the second one. And now I gotta put the others in. It actually made 20 more. So I had these small pans, so I'm just gonna set them in here. Set the angles so it'll stay on there. Okay. And push that in. Okay. All right. I'll get back with you in just a little bit. 
Okay, all the cupcakes are out of the oven now, and I'm making the glaze that's going to, we're going to dip the tops of the cupcakes into this glaze. So this is two cups of powdered sugar. I've added two tablespoons of vegetable oil into the powdered sugar, and now I'm adding a third of a cup plus two tablespoons of orange juice. So I'm just going to stir this together. I may wind up having to use the mixer to get it nice and smooth. I've just got my little hand mixer here. I may not have to, we'll see. Whip, that might work. If not, we'll use the mixer. I don't think this is going to do it. That looks pretty smooth. So, no need to have the mixer. That looks really smooth. Now, what it says to do is to dip the little cupcakes in here and then set them on the wire rack. So, that is what I'm about to do. So let me turn y'all around over here. I've already got them sitting on wire rack. So, let's look up that way. That looks pretty good. I think it might be actually easier instead of picking those up and dunking them to actually sit this over a cookie sheet and then just pour the glaze over the top of them. So let me see if that's not a big enough cookie sheet. Hold on one second, let me get a bigger cookie sheet. factor. I think this will work good. Just set this on here like this. And then I'll just spoon it over. Spoon it over like this on them. And smear it around. I think that'll work. Let me get you closer so you can see what I'm doing. Hold on. Wasn't that fun going on that ride? <laughs> okay. Get you up here so you can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I turned this one upside down because it was kind of cattywampus looking. And that was one I'm going to eat. So I'm setting that over here out of the way. And I just wanted you to see. I'm just putting this glaze right on the top of them. It keeps my hands from getting so messy. And I'm assuming these will get hard as they sit. found this recipe in a old junior league cookbook and I think it should be a good one. They were all good cooks. Anyhow, you can see how this is doing. I'm going to quickly do this one so I can taste it and let you know what I think. And of course, it's not hardened up but it should still have a great flavor, so we'll see. And I will tell you about it. Hold on a second. Mm. 
That is really good, y'all. It's real lemony. I don't really taste the orange juice so much as the lemon. But it's, they're very light and fluffy. Um, I guess that was from all those eggs that we put in there. So those four eggs really stretch this recipe out. And I'm glad I didn't overfill those muffin cups because those were the harder ones to get out. And they look a little bit funny on the top because they're so, the tops are so much bigger than the bottoms. But the ones that turned out right, you know, they're like the right size. Um, those were not overfilled cups. Anyhow, this is a cute little recipe to do and uh, y'all try it. And hey, by the way, don't forget, subscribe wherever the button is on your screen, please subscribe, trying to get to 400 uh, this week. Thank you.